Yo, it is time to break Classics Football Inner Case PYT number two. So, uh, join me. Oh, JV, that's that's what happens when uh when when you look me in the eyes, you you get lost sometimes. So I apologize for that, JV. All right. However, let me mesmerize you with this classics football. Boom. Let them know, JV. Money don't sleep. Money don't sleep. And then let me just... These are things that bother me. Because I'm weird. All right. Where's where's my where's my kiss? Where's my kiss? It's uh it's right here actually. <coughs> All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Classics football in the room. All right. JV, you only got one day off a week? Alright, so... Let's uh, be kind of smart about this, or try to be smart about this. Space them out there, but yeah. Hey. Varsity takes the weekend off. JV got to work. <laughs> I like that. All right. Let's uh, open this up. Good luck, y'all. Come see are like right there. The Chiefs uh yelled. Let me see what who are the Chiefs? Oh wait, there are thirty one. I'm missing one team. Which, if I'm not mistaken, I got down here. Yes I do. Boom. Drop them there. So, I'm sorry about that, yell it. I didn't uh, throw you in there. I didn't notice that because, you know, on account that I'm dumb. So, wait, cancel that. And then let me do that. Well, whatever, doesn't matter. Where is my thing? Let me change this. Yeah, that was dumb of me. I don't know how to notice that. I was missing one team. But thankfully, it's already accounted for. Thank you for that yelling. I apologize for the uh, the sudden heart attack. But you are Gucci. All right, there's your team. The Chiefs.
Thank you for reminding me, Yellow, because I, I I would not have caught it, at least not in time, until somebody would have pointed out to me, you know. Classics football with the old school design. Chad Henson from the University of Cali. Uh, not numbered, but there's that. All right, remember, Vet Base does not ship in this, y'all. In case anybody was wondering. Big Bapa, you would hate driving in Florida. A Super Bowl Heroes of Ray Lewis. Got the little yellow color on there, but not numbered. So 299 Roger Staubach of the Cowboys. Both Detroit Don. Well, I've lived in South Florida pretty much all my life, and I gotta say, traffic sucks in South Florida. you calling me when you know I'm fucking working. I hate that. Oh, two two ninety nine. Justin Davis from the University of South California. What is this? Heath Miller to 25 on card auto for the Steelers. That's nice. Was this a filler key? I don't know, but that's nice. Heath Miller to 25 on card auto. Very nice. That's uh, what you call them, those buyback boys, the buyback autos. It was a Heath Miller to 25 buyback auto for the Steelers, uh, Bapa. Solomon Thomas from Stanford, number to 10. Just a whole bunch of base. Well, it's one auto per box, so that was the auto. Uh, it's on average, so we should be getting at least a memorabilia up out of here, too. Joseph Vincent Flacco. Two out of five. Two out of five. Is it because they use this whole name? Is that why it's uh, numbered two out of five? kind of cool. I didn't know his name was Joseph Vincent.
Uh, too tall, Jones. You too tall, boy. Oh, this is kind of cool. The next level, Joey Bosa. Got his pro. And then his collegiate in the back. That's kind of cool. I like the old school design of these cards. To 299, Steve Smith Sr. of the Ravens. And he would be the memorabilia. Boomer Esiason. Flashback Fabrics to three ninety nine for the New York Jets. That's nice. All right. Let's do another box. All my new peeps, if you would like to save 10 bucks off your first purchase, let me know and I can hook you up with that gift code. The Heath Miller in the first box. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Maybe it's a buyback inner case? That would be kind of sick. To $2.99, John Hanna. Of the uh, New England Patriots. I was going to sleeve it, but then uh, you know, I see that it's a Patriot, but I was like, nah. Now, don't worry about it. It will get sleeved. Just uh, have Julia or Alyssa do it. Because that's what they get paid for. And I get paid to open these packs, but this one's being difficult. Dude, that would suck if you get your old card back, JV. Number to 299, Chad Kelly from Ole Miss. Here we have uh, the flashback fabric from the Niners. Number to 99. Hold up. I'm sorry. Throw your use up. Frank Gore to 99 for the Niners. You know, played for the University of Miami. Only the uh, greatest college football program to, you know, ever exist. But, you know, I, I digress.
Number to 25, Dante Foreman for the Texans. That's a good hit. It's a left on running back right there. Ryan Leaf was born in Montana. Ouch. I don't know if you uh, want to put that out there for the uh, people of Montana. Number to 299, Jordan Howard of the Bears. Well, damn. I guess it's a good thing uh, nothing came of him, right? Since he's an asshole. But, an auto possibly. Check it out. A sticker auto to 199 from the University of LSU, Jamal Adams. Alright. Which uh, fulfills our... Fabric and auto quota from this box. Let me see if we can at least get some color up out of here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm digging the uh, the old school designs on this. Score football has a similar design. Archives was also, you know, a little throwbacky. Old school, clean, simple designs. Just like a, just like I used to collect when I was, you know, a little, a little boy. To fifty for the Chiefs, Jan Stenerud. About to kick the hell out of a football right there. All right, let us do another box. Oh, Jan, Jan, Jan Stenerud. Did I at least get the last name right? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know? I mean, that's that's why, you know, I love that you guys are educated. And let me know. Hey, dude, that's not how you say his name. Jan Stenarud. Jan Stenarud. Ah, gotcha. Alright, let's uh, see what else we can get up out of her. I'm going to predict a Deshaun Watson. One of one! Ricky Williams to 299 for the Saints. Guys with girl names need to stick together. This is true. As a as a guy with a girl name, I should have, you know, more of a uh, of a what? I don't know. Who cares? Amara Darbo, receiver for Michigan, with a sticker auto to one ninety nine. Yay ayayi. Number to 25, Jake Butt from Michigan.
Funny name, but uh, not a bad tight end. Uh, I, I should have saw that one coming, JB. Number two, 299, Chargers. Philip Rivers. I know he will Detroit. Trust me, dude. College football. I love college football. It's it's baseball and hockey where my knowledge is just n n none. I depend on, uh, you know, Sports Center for that. His sister is named Bertha? Bertha Butt? <laughs> Stop. What were their parents thinking? I was about to say, dude. There's no way. <laughs> dude, the jokes are endless. If Jake is a game time decision and doesn't play, hey, you get butt scratched. That's right. You were saving that one for a while, weren't you, JV? You're like, oh, man, I can't wait to spring this one on the boys. If he loses the ball during a game, is it considered Mark Sanchez? Hmm. Philosophical questions here at Rip City. To 299, the greatest quarterback to ever touch a football and throw it. The man uh, defies all human logic. I don't care what anybody says about him. The greatest quarterback ever, Dan Marino Dolphins to 299. I, I know, I know about the butt fumble, JV. I know, I know, I get the reference. Sherman sent who was a uh, 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 a truckload of toilet paper. Jake Butt. I mean, hey, you got to keep your butt clean, you know. Reuben Foster to two ninety nine. Who I low key wish the uh, the Dolphins drafted. Lacerated chin, hop, <laughs> butt hurt. He's butt hurt. That's crazy, Detroit. At least he doesn't have to worry about wiping his ass. What is this? Another one? Another Heath Miller? Classics material to two ninety nine. So we got a Heath Miller auto, buyback auto at that. And uh, now some tissue for him. Hmm. All right, Heath, Heath Miller. I see you, pimp. Dude, if he does promote Charmin, is it considered a butt plug? <laughs> Dude, you can go for you can go for days. He's probably hearing it right now at training camp. Oh, super easy endorsement. He should play for the Detroit Lions because they're booty. Yeah, butt jokes are easy for everyone. Except for uh, this pack that I'm trying to open. Jeez, man. Oh, I forgot I hit a nice. Uh, who, who's that running back from Florida State? Dalvin Cook auto out of one of these boxes. That was nice. To 299, Christian Okoye for the Chiefs. What? Stop. Sick auto for the Broncos. 
numbered 15 out of 15. Arguably one of the greatest modern running backs, Terrell Davis. In my opinion, top five running back of uh, of the modern era. I consider the modern era like, you know, after the 80s and whatnot. That's a good card. That's a good card. So much so, I'm going to stop what I'm doing. And, uh, I'm going to do this. Walter Payton, the juice. He was nice, but I don't know, man. I, I, I like Eric Dickerson. I didn't see him play. I, I want to consider him modern era. What about Barry Sanders? What about Barry Sanders, Bapa? Who, Terrell Davis, top 10 running back? Easy. No, maybe. Easy. Actually, now that I think about it, historically... There's a lot of good running backs. Barry Sanders would have been number one if he if he kept on playing. He only played nine seasons. He was super dominant dominant in you know in that time. But I would give it to the you know the sweetness. You know Walter Payton was pretty pretty nice. Eric Dickerson was sweet. Uh, let's not forget about Larry Sonka. That's the greatest running back of all time. Yeah, Davis didn't play that long either. Concussions. But he put up them numbers. Number to 50, Justin Davis. Yeah, I thought about it. I will put Terrell Davis top 20. Terrell Davis top 20 running back all time. Can we agree on that, Room? Let's not let hold on. First off, Terrell Davis was a great running back. I think we can all agree on that. Top ten, probably not. This is probably the greatest running back ever, right here, Barry Sanders. I'll put him top twenty, coming in at number twenty. He did get two rings. He did get two rings, but you know. Football is one of those sports where you can, like, seriously just throw numbers at people. I feel you, Addicted36. If, if that's the modern era going from 2000 on, KD Cannon to 299 for Baylor. Don't sleep on Edger and James. You, you, keep, you, can, you can name a couple. Uh, Miami running backs. Clinton Portis was sweet. Fred Taylor for the Jaguars. That guy was sweet as hell too. LT, LaDainian Tomlinson. That's a top 10 quarterback uh, running back for Shout. Amara Darbo for Michigan to 25. Sean Alexander, up until he got the Madden cover, which was what, 2002 or something? Dude, Tomlinson got to be top five, bro. I don't know, dude. LT got those numbers, man. He didn't get no championships, unfortunately, but he got those numbers, dude. Emmett Smith. I just dropped him, McBapa. Aaron Donald to two ninety nine for the Rams. Yeah, cause I know I know it's my fool's ball. Well, yeah, I, I get you. I get you, Detroit Don. LT number two. I think he's gonna go through. He's gonna. I think he'll throw for over thirty five touchdowns. Sweet two color patch. For Kirk Cousins. You like that! You like that! Number 250, Kirk Cousins. There's that. 
<clears throat> ah. You know what's funny? I saw Kirk Cousins play back in Michigan State. And I said to myself, I'm like, dude, this guy's a starter in the league. And then he came, he was like right behind, um, what's his name? Uh, Robert Griffin. And I'm like, dude, that sucks. Because Kirk Cousin, in my opinion, it, coming out of college, I felt like he was a better quarterback. Uh, that he, he was probably not a better quarterback in college than Robert Griffin. But he had, he had some potential. And, uh, you know, my boy got hurt, and boom, he's showing out now. Good for him. And now he has Deshaun. Now he has Deshaun Jackson. He got speed out there. Carlos Hyde to 299 for the Niners. Oh, wait, my bad. Didn't Deshaun Jackson go to um to the Bucks? My bad, my bad. Yeah, true. He wouldn't have been better than Robert. I'm with you on that one. Kirk Cousins isn't bad. Don't sleep on him, Bob. But he's not bad. He's a solid quarterback. Solid. Solid. <coughs> he has Terrell Pryor now? Ew. John Randall for the Vikings to 299. I like Terrell Pryor. But the only reason he had that awesome season because he played for the Browns. What is this? An auto for Adore Jackson from the University of South Carolina to 199. Yeah, fantasy balling is one thing from actual like balling balling. He has some weapons. He has some weapons. I don't I don't really like Jordan Reed at running back, I'll be honest. Wait, isn't no wait, I'm thinking of some other guy. I think I think I'm thinking about Matt Jones. I don't know. Yeah, Reed is a tight end. Running back by committee is no bueno. You need you that running back. Can somebody not tell me I'm crazy? It's Matt Jones that I was thinking of, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Dude, what a crybaby, bro. If you tell me that I'm the fifth running back in the death chart, dude, I'm coming I'm coming into OTAs and I'm knocking heads loose, dude. To 299, Zach Cunningham from Vanderbilt. How about them Dolphins, though? How about them Dolphins, baby? Can I get a fins up? Can, can I get a fins up? Thank you, JN. Thank you. I like what they did, too. They're, they're on the up and up. I'm glad uh, we finally at least got into the playoffs. You suck, dugout sports. You suck. Number to 50, Jonathan Allen from Alabama. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Adam Gase is riding that shit for sure. Patriots can't beat the Dolphins in Miami. You can ask Tom Brady. Does he like playing the Dolphins? And he will flat out tell you, no, sir. Listen, at 1 p.m. on a nice Miami uh, afternoon, Brady ain't winning in Miami. Number to 299, flashback fabrics of Carson Palmer. Brady is the man 
But fuck that guy. I say that because he's been destroying us for the past, like, 15 years. Dude, he could be throwing a wiffle ball. It doesn't matter. It's freaking Tom Brady. What a do, Chris Fitz? No, look, uh, look, I'm not, I'm not one of these fans that's like, oh, you know, fuck the, fuck the Patriots just because, you know, I'm a fan of some other team or whatever. Like, I get it, dude. Like, he's the greatest quarterback probably to ever play the game. And yeah, he plays in my division. But with that being said, fuck that guy. Yeah, tell him addicted. Dude can't take a lick, man. Dude cannot take a lick. Ooh, this is a good one. Charles Haley to 25 for the Cowboys. Yeah, I respect the Patriots too. Doesn't mean I have to like them. Dude, this is a good card. This is a good card. Not a bad case, huh? Addicted. And we still got a ways to go. Wait, what am I doing? You don't belong there. Go away. Uh, no, it was a sticker auto. JN. You feel bad for the Falcons? I don't. <laughs> Not at all. Doug Flutie, numbered 1 to 25 for the Bills. Who's a six win team this year? The Falcons? Or the Dolphins? Because I'll fly to where you're at and I'll slap you every time with the Dolphins. Oh, they're gonna shake that off, addicted. They're gonna shake that off for sure. I don't think they'll make the play I don't think they'll make the uh the Super Bowl? But, dude, come on, man. With that team, they're going to make the playoffs at least. I blame the offensive coordinator for that loss. But, hey, Michael Strahan to 299 for the Giants. Yeah, I agree with Detroit, Don. They all need the Heimlich. Oh, very true. Past Super Bowl losers do pretty bad the next year. But the winners don't do that good either. If we're if we're being completely honest. You know, there's been some seasons where the, the Super Bowl winner comes back the next year and just Uh I'm gonna say that is due to Cam Newton's hubris as far as what happened to the Panthers last year. Number to 50, Paul Hornung of the Packers. I think the Falcons will go 11 and 5 this year. And I'm with I'm with Detroit. Carolina is not to be slept on this season. They tanked it last year. Came up a little in the draft. Travis Kelsey to 299 for the Chiefs. But yeah, the NFC, South, the NFC South is going to be nice. It's going to be competitive. Tampa Bay is looking good. And I'm not saying that because uh, Cardboard Jesus is my dude. The Chargers to 299. Blanket for uh, Phillip Rivers. I'm going to start calling them blankets now. You guys call them uh, napkins. I'll call them blankets. Blankets. You think the Bucks are going to come out of the South this year? Okay, I don't know about that one. Jumping on the Bucks bandwagon? Chris Fitz, I know you will put money on it. I won't, because I don't have any.
Number to 299, Joe Mixon. I think they'll make a wild card. I think they'll win the sixth spot for the wild card. Uh, but they won't win the division. People sleeping on the Saints. Did y'all forget Drew Brees is out there still slinging 5,000 yards a season? Did y'all forget that? Give the guy a defense and forget it. Watch out. Don't sleep on the Saints, man. As long as as long as long Drew Brees and Sean Payton are together, don't sleep on them. I'm telling you. The AFC is tough, dude. The AFC is definitely tough. That's what I'm saying, though, Chris Fitz. If you can give them a defense, hey... All right, so we're all just going to completely count the Falcons out. Damn, yo. I'll do my best, Yellow. Is this a uh, flashback fabric to three ninety nine for Brett Favre of the Packers? The Saints D is awful. Nobody's denying this. I'm just saying. If the man gets a defense, even like a top 20, 15 defense in the league, watch out for the Saints because the man can throw that rock. He, he did lose the Cooks to 99 to the Patriots. But hey. He'll be all right. He he finds ways. You think he's passed? So you think this is the year where everybody starts to look at Drew Brees and it's like, damn, you got to hang it up, bruh. To 299, Christian Okoye, Chiefs. I honestly think Drew Brees can play at least another three years at a high level. Tom Brady, you think this is his final year? I think Tom Brady plays maybe two more seasons. I hope. Because he, he'll, he'll get tired. After this season, when the Dolphins win the division, he's going to be like, oh, damn, I don't got it no more. Watch. Jeremy Nichols, Jeremy Merck Nichols from Boise State to 299. Bapa, I thought I told you it was my weekend. Not to mention, man, Drew Brees is a tough dude, bro. I can see him playing three more seasons at a high level. And, you know, and retiring respectably. Not like Peyton Manning, who just sucked his last year. I'm definitely asking a lot, but you know what, though? I think he could do it, man. He's, he's a competitor. And they won a Super Bowl, you know, Sean Payton and Drew Brees together. So I think they got what it takes to maybe go for one more run, you know? Aaron Donald, two ninety nine for the Rams.
Dude, I, I think Brady will play. Okay, all jokes aside. The way he's been playing as of late, like the last three, four years, if he can stay healthy, I think Tom Brady can play at least five years, man. I don't know, Chris Fitz. Isn't isn't Adrian Peterson? Who's Adrian Peterson playing for right now? Isn't he playing for the same? I don't even remember who's playing for. For the Saints, right? Dude. So now you mean to tell me you're giving Drew Brees a running game. Because, you know, they, they got to, hopefully, well, you know what? It all depends. I'm telling you, addicted, they can do it, man. Number 250, Noah Brown from the Ohio State University. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if Brady was 48, still slinging that rock. We have us an auto here. Yes, sir. Ob Meliwongu. No, I'm sorry. Ob Melifongu. Number to 199 from Yukon. He has played a lot of football. I think this is the year. I'm telling you, man. Dolphins win the division this year. And Tom Brady is going to play for one more season because it's over. It's over. Chris Fitz, I know they won't win the division, all right? Let me just, let me talk my shit in peace. I let you talk your shit. Let me talk my shit. All right? But I will tell you this, Chris Fitz. The Dolphins may not win the division, but we're getting into the playoffs, all right? We'll win a wild card game, and we will beat the Patriots in the playoffs. Calling it. I can't even open this pack because I'm so flustered right now. I'm so flustered out of, out of what you just told me, Chris Fitz. Number to 25, Corey Davis from Western Michigan. My thing is this. If, if I'm being completely honest with you, with you, with you kids... As far as my Dolphins are concerned, look, we made it to the playoffs last year, and we got destroyed by the Steelers. Yeah, we had some injuries, whatever. Don't make any excuses, all right? It's football. Everybody's injured. What I would like to see this year is for us to just keep moving forward. I want us to make the playoffs again, but I would like for us to win a game, all right? To 299, Florida State, Dalvin Cook. Yeah, that's the best thing about Ryan Tannehill. It's his wife. She is banging. What? Speaking of the Patriots... Number to 399, another great running back, Curtis Martin, with a flashback fabric on there. Listen, as long as Aaron Rodgers, who is the best quarterback in all of pro football, as long as he is on your team, you got a shot at winning a Super Bowl.
Curtis Martin was pretty good, McBob, but don't sleep. Number to 50, Doug Baldwin, Seahawks. I mean, just because he played for the Jets for a good portion of his career and the Patriots doesn't mean he sucks. I mean, I can give credit where it's due. Good running back. Trust me, Chris Fitz, I know. I saw him play a lot of times because he, he hurt my Dolphins many times, Haney's. Darren Woodson, number to 299 for the Cowboys. Nice. From the Florida State University, number 199, Travis Rudolph. That's a good card. Not a UN player, but, you know, still not bad. To 299 for the Eagles Carson Wentz. Yeah, I don't know what high school he went to. I think he went to Northwestern. I'm not I don't remember. But yeah, that's what we do down here in Miami, baby. We we produce ballers. Uh McBaba, what are you smoking on? Whatever that is, give me some. If you are that delusional that you think Carson Wentz is gonna win the MVP. I know you do, Big Papa. I know you do. <laughs> I'm about to take me a little toke break myself. You got a prescription? Well, so do I. Nah, I got that uh, that purple A's all in my brain. You got that. <laughs> you got that prescription subscription, baby. Oh, baby, what is you doing? Oh, boy. Dan Marino. Number to 299. That beautiful, beautiful teal. Oh, so lovely. So gorgeous. So pretty. Mm. And they were in a filler. That's a nice looking guard. That's a nice looking guard. That's a Hall of Famer right there, y'all. That's my boy. Yeah, Dan Noringo, but still. That's my boy. That's my quarterback. That's my teammate, McBubba. <coughs> Number to 99, Jim Plunkett for the Raiders. Dang it. You like that one, McBob, for the T.O.? You know, the, the little sound bit that I gave you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hip in the streets. Number two, 299, Gunnar Keel. Bro, 
Cavs need to uh, pack it up already because they ain't going to win a single game. I'm calling it. Warriors will be the first team in NBA history to go undefeated in the playoffs. I think they're going to beat the Warriors by a minimum of at least 10 points. It's going to be a sweep. Dude, I'm telling you, Golden State, Warriors in five. Dude, what are you smoking? Can you give me and McBapa some of it? Because, damn, clearly it's getting to you. Number to 299 for the Giants, Eli Manning. Because there is no way on God's green earth that Go Golden State loses a game to the Cavs. Barring an injury or some, you know, freak accident. There's no way. Yeah, I feel you. They'll 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 uh, lose a lot of TV time, but man, if KD keeps playing the way he's playing, and they keep uh, refusing to, st you know, they're they're staying home on everybody. But those defenders are on skates right now, man. I don't think so, dude. LeBron's getting all those foul shots because he keeps on going. He, he he's driving to the rim, like he's doing what people have been wanting him to do for the longest. He's getting to the rim, but I don't know, man. The refs historically swallow the whistle in the finals, so we'll see. And it, see, that's what I love about NBA is that uh, honestly, the best team is gonna win, you know, barring an injury or something. In the seven game series, best team wins. Number 250, Tory Holt of the Rams. But, uh, dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. The, the game gets deeper. We'll see if the, what the world percenters think. But I think it'll be a sweep, man. I think it'll be a sweep. Because, uh, to be completely honest, this year's playoffs... Sucked so bad. I don't care what you say. This year's playoffs, except for the Western Conference, which was okay. But, dude, yeah, the gold's not numbered. The golds aren't numbered. This year's playoffs, so garbage. The Celtics Wizards had a decent series, but nah, man. I'm sorry, bro. This year's playoffs were so bad, dude. Really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. Like, I, I can't remember a point, like, in my 27 years watching basketball that, like, there was, like, a matchup where I'm like, damn, any team can win. To 299 Terrell Davis Broncos. I can't say the same this year. Like, damn, like, it's... It was completely obvious to everybody that we were going to have a Golden State Warriors Cleveland Cavaliers final. Nah. You know what would have made the playoffs a lot better? If the Miami Heat were in it. <laughs> uh, in auto, I believe. Shelton Gibson from the University of West Virginia. That's a nice one. That's a, that's a baller right there. 299. Base there. All right, and the final box the Chicago Knicks. That was like the only storyline of the playoffs, to be honest with you, was the whole deal with Isaiah Thomas' sister, which sucks. But he did his thing. He balled out. But, I mean, come on. They weren't going to beat the Cavs. The Wizards and the Celtics, they had a nice series, but, man, this year's playoffs sucked. Mainly because the Heat weren't in it. If I'm being completely honest.
truth be told, nobody wanted the Heat to make the playoffs. Because even though we had the shittiest record at one point, we turned it on, baby. First team in NBA history to start off with a crap record and break. And, uh, you know, in that 500. Yeah, yeah, Zaza Pachulia was out there. David Johnson to 50 for the Cardinals. That guy's a baller. They sent him on. Steve Kerr was like, yo, Zaza, handle that man. And Zaza was like, okay. And the rest is history. Six Zaza on LeBron series over. I, what I just I want to see like a fight happen. I want to see LeBron get razzle dazzled. Isaiah Crowell to two ninety nine for the Browns. Elijah Hood to 49 from North Carolina. That's a good one. Good running back. I catch everything, Papa. I catch everything. You know what the problem is with uh, Isaiah Thomas though is that he's five foot nine, and he can't defend anybody in the league. Jerome Bettis to two ninety nine for the Steelers. It is like. Instant offense. I would put him as my sixth man off the bench for instant offense. But he's not running my team. I'm with you on this one, JN. I don't think he makes his teammates better. Due to his size. Unless this guy just becomes Allen Iverson over the summer, then he can do whatever the hell he wants. Because Allen Iverson is the greatest basketball player ever. These are facts. 53 wins in the East, though, Bapa. Like, come on, bro. Me and you could have got 30 wins. Playing two on five in the East. The East is just terrible. Like, once the big three split up in Miami, the East just went to crap. To 299, Hugh McElhenney for the Niners. Yeah, the West is actually not that good either. With these super teams now, it's like the Cavs and the Golden State Warriors, and then there's, you know, everybody else. Well, I don't know about all that, JN. Give the Celtics some respect. They're a good team. I think they would have been at least, you know, a three or four seed in the West. The West isn't as strong as it used to be. Everybody knows that as East Coast teams are a little bit more scrappy, whereas the West Coast teams are a little bit more flashy. Except for the Spurs. Spurs are like the Patriots. No, the West plays defense. I mean, have you heard of the Spurs? Or the Golden State Warriors? Clippers play decent defense, too. All right, let's see what's in this final pack here. 
to 299, Shelton Gibson from West Virginia. Yeah, Utah and Memphis do play good defense too. And that's the case. I miss the bad boy Pistons to Detroit. Them boys used to be out there banging. All right, so we hit quite a few amount of patches. But uh, let's go through these autos. Let's go through these autos. We're going to go with Shelton Gibson to 199. Travis Rudolph to 199. OB Melifonwu to 199. Adore Jackson to 199. Amara Darbo to 199. Jamal Adams to 199. A Heath Miller number to 25. Buyback auto from what I hear in the streets. Right. And Elijah Hood to 49. Charles Haley to 25. And Terrell Davis, 15 out of 15. That was the case, guys. Thank you very much. And as you know, we will get that out to you. Thank you very much.